Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I am Professor Vagmani Biyar. Today we can see the topic on methods of uh, raising seedlings or the different types of rice nurseries. There are different uh, three main types of rice nursery that is wet bed nursery, then dry bed nursery and the depot. First one you can see the in case of wet bed method or the wet bed nursery, this nursery are preferred under the irrigated conditions where the irrigation source are plenty of uh, available and this uh, uh, method or the nursery, the soil is puddled by 2 to 3 runs of puddler or 3 to 4 plowings with the help of local plow. After one to two, three, uh, one to two days of puddling, divide the nursery into narrow beds because of to easily facilitate the intercultural operations like sowing, weeding, spraying of chemicals as well as the irrigation operations. Then afterwards, construct the drainage channels of uh, 30 cm wide in, in, in between the beds. Then after that, uh, apply to do 5 gram of uh, urea as a source of nitrogen and the 500 gram of single superphosphate per 10 meter square. This is recommended only for the 10 uh, meter square. Uniformly uh, uh, broadcast the 2 to 3 handfuls of the seed on a uh, uh, 1 meter square of the seed bed. After that, the keep the bed, seed bed or the nursery saturated with the water for the first five days that is for the easily uh, sprouting or the germination of the seeds then increasing the gradually the level of water up to five centimeters this is recommended for the water level for the especially in the rice nurseries as the to maintain the level of water up to five centimeters the seedlings uh, grows very well. Then afterwards, uh, out of the suitable disease and the pest control measures, that is the application of uh, uh, zinc sulfate uh, as well as the as a so deficiency of zinc. If the pest that is a uh, yellow rice timber is observed on the nursery beds, then should apply the uh, pesticides, uh, the spray the pesticides like uh, malathion uh, at the rate of 1 liter uh, in 1000 liter of water per hectare and this is recommended for the per hectare. And then uh, if uh, diseases that is bacterial blight or the blast diseases are uh, observed in the nursery uh, beds, uh, they should spray the fungicides like uh, Mancozeb, Zyneb or the uh, uh, use the disease resistant uh, uh, varieties for the control of these uh, diseases. If the nitrogen deficiency is observed in the nursery bed, then application of this 50 gram of urea per meter square should be made by the top dressing in, in case of uh, uh, nitrogen deficient symptoms. In case of the uh, zinc deficient soils, the, give the two sprays of zinc sulfate uh, uh, and the 10 days after sowing and the another one that is 20 days after sowing. This is a wet bed method, especially followed in the where the rainfall is more or the irrigation facility or the source of water is plenty. And this method requires the puddling operations. We, uh, this operation can be carried out with the help of puddler. And after that, the nursery area can be divided into the uh, narrow beds uh, because of uh, to facilitate the easily carried out the operations that is sowing, weeding, spraying of uh, chemicals as well as irrigation operation. Then also made the drain channels for the removal of uh, excess, uh, excess water. Then uh, as per the recommended dose, uh, urea and acid should be applied. Then also 
make the control measures against pest disease should be followed in the nursery then also as per the deficiency of the specific nutrients should apply the source of right input and then also uh, use of uh, micronutrients next uh, method that is dry bed method in this method is majorly practice where the areas of uh, water is not sufficient to grow the seedlings then uh, this dry bed method the field is plow at least uh, in uh, four uh, four times uh, uh, that is uh, uh, converted into the plowrise or uh, friable conditions in dry bed method there is uh, not uh, followed the puddling operations this is only uh, done the plowing operation uh, then after that uh, prepare the beds on the same size as in the wet nursery beds are divided into the uh, uh, equal narrow beds then drainage channel also the uh, 15 cm height should be between the beds this is useful for the removal of excess rain water then also sow the seeds in the uh, bed with the help of a uh, uh, marker or uh, uh, in the rows of 10 cm apart and, uh, and then use of this uh, seed bed and the fertilizer as it same in the wet nurseries and the, so the seeds should be covered immediately with the layer of soil then special care should be taken for water management in these beds then up, uh, that is the after uh, uh, raising of the seed or sowing of the seed immediately you should uh, apply the dry irrigations with the help of uh, sprinkler or, uh, or the with the help of jar and then uh, as the seedlings grows the level of water should be maintained up to 5 cm and the all water uh, to be run channel first and raise the level of water slowly that is the, to make the saturation of beds and uh, in this uh, dry bed method that is do not flood water in the beds as in uh, wet nursery there is a flooding and puddling operations uh, it, it should be included but in case of the dry bed method there is no puddling uh, operation as well as do not uh, flood water in the beds then keep the seed bed saturated with water that is the only to make the soil in a saturated conditions in the dry bed method then maintain thin film of water if the possible after 5 days of sowing and then follow the all the operations as prescribed uh, for the wet nursery that is for if the nitrogen deficiency is observed in nursery then you should apply the nitrogen as a top dress uh, that is for avoiding the deficiency of nitrogen if the zinc deficiency is observed zinc sulfate should be sprayed uh, uh, with the uh two times that is at the 10 days after sowing and the 20 days after sowing this is a dry bed method third one that is depok depok method this is a very popular method or the uh, nursery it will be followed or used in the rice especially depok method is a uh, raising uh, nursery has been introduced in india from the philippines Uh, it has been adopted by some farmers in andhra pradesh for raising of seedlings as well as in the west bengal in this method is the main objective or main advantage is that that is the saves almost half of the time in the seedlings raising as we can see uh, here the only 11 to 14 days of uh, days are required to uh, make the seedlings are ready for transplant but in case of the conventional method requires 30 to 45 days for the uh, transplanting and then also the main merit of uh, depok method is that that is less area is required or needed to raise the seedlings that is area 25 to 30 meter square area is enough to raise the seedlings for transplanting in one hectare uh, that is recommended for one hectare 25 to 30 meter square area is enough in a depok method but in case of the conventional method the area of nursery that is 500 meter square that is for timely raising of seedlings if it is delay 
the area of nursery should be increased up to 750 to 1000 meters square but in case of uh, depog there is only 25 to 30 meters square area is sufficient to uh, transplant the one hectare area the, in case of the depog the uh, we can see the seedlings are raised fast than the other or the conventional method the seedlings are raised by this method are very delicate and they survive only about two weeks because in this uh, depog method there is uh, there are different types of uh, materials are used that is you can see here photographs it is banana leaves are uh, mainly used and then plastic seeds just like the hydroponics the seedlings can be uh, um, grows in, in, in the depog method that's that's why the roots of these uh, seedlings are very delicate and they only survive only two weeks not more than that besides the seedlings are thin slender and short in height than the conventional method the seedlings when allowed to remain in the bed may dry after two weeks that is the uh, only two weeks is the lifetime of uh, uh, seedlings in the depog method next one you can see exactly the how the depog method is uh, practice or uh, should be used or follow the different uh, uh, practices that is first one in uh, in the park the beds should be prepared on an even but uh, slightly raised uh, surface in an open field or uh, uh, even cement uh, floor that is uh, beds can be prepared in the park nursery uh, either in the open field as well as in the uh, cement floor uh, about one meter square of the um, seed bed should be required for every three kg of the seed this is a recommended uh, seeded for one meter square area then uh, width of this uh, bed should be 1.5 meter has been found for the easily manageable and then cover the soil surface of the seed uh, bed evenly and completely with the banana leaves we can see here the materials will be used for the covering of uh, seed bed on the soil surface that is completely with the banana leaves with the mid ribs removed and the plastic seeds also used for covering of the beds then carefully lay the strips of banana bracts that is the uh, uh, leaves uh, part or uh, the stems which will be used for the uh, in the seed bed then push the uh, thin bamboo pegs then uh, you can see here the bamboo pegs are also used for to backs in the upright or the firm position then about 36 to 48 hours pre germinated seeds in case of the depog method the seeds should be uh, pre germinated that is uh, directly seeds cannot be sown in the depog method Firstly, we can uh, pre-germinated seeds with the recommended hours, that is 36 to 48, should be broadcast uniformly over the plastic or the banana leaves at the rate of uh, 3 kg per meter square. The pack the seed to make the uniform layer of the three seeds thick. As the seeds are sown or broadcasted on the uh, this uh, plastic or the banana leaves, it is concept of the hydroponics. Hmm? You can see here the directly the you can uh, broadcast this uh, seeds that is the pre germinated seeds is recommended in the depot that is 36 to 48 hours pre germinated seed uh, and then after that pack the seeds uniformly over the seed uh, with uh, over the layer with the three seeds thick do not press the seed too hard uh, that is to avoid the uh, damage of the roots or the uh, stem and then also follow the sprinkler water uh, gently immediately or uh, uh, followed immediately after the sowing and sprinkler water three to four times a day up to the four days that is recommended for uh, four days that is sprinkler regularly with three to four times in a day as to keep the bed wetted condition then uh, thereafter cover it with the uh, one or two centimeter of water till end this is the recommended level of water in the depog method that is two to three centimeter 
and also press the seeds lightly once a day that is to avoid the uh, attack of uh, birds or to uh, uh, especially uh, attack of this sparrow or the uh, different types of the ants uh, that is to need to press the seeds lightly uh, un under the water once a day uh, this practice should be followed up to the four day or the uh, number of days that is four the depot seedlings would be ready for uh, planting or the transplanting within the 11 to 14 days of soil this is a short time or within a uh, short period of time the seedlings are ready for transplanting in the depot method then the conventional method the seedlings thus raised in the uh, uh, depot can be rolled with the uh, just like carpet with roots facing outside then uh, uh, at the time of uh, uprooting of uh, at the time of transplanting the seedlings uh, can be rolled like carpet and then afterward uh, roots can be faced outside and this will be carried out for the uh, this rolled uh, carpet should be carried out through, uh, towards the transplanting site then loosen the interlocked roots carefully before transplanting because to avoid the damage of the roots then severe care should be taken uh, while loosening the uh, removal of these uh, uh, seedlings without damage of the roots then three to four seedlings uh, should be transplanted per hill instead of two uh, in depog method there is a recommendation of this uh, number of tra seedlings are transplanted per hill that is uh, three to four but in case of the conventional method there is a uh, four to five seedlings are transplanted per hill this is the today's topic uh, about uh, uh, rice nurseries or the methods of seedlings uh, in the rice uh, uh, especially uh, there are three types of uh, rice methods or raising seedling uh, nurseries that is wet bed, dry bed and the depot. Thank you.